so if you guys haven't noticed, I've been trying to get into my wolf palette. I've had this for about a year now and I haven't played with it much. everyone, this is day 27 of 31 Days of Halloween, and today I'm going to become Boba Fett uh, from Star Wars, since this is week of Star Wars, just for a little fun. So I decided to do all week Star Wars, so I'm going to go put my hair up and get ready, and I'll be right back. Okay, first thing I'm doing is I'm going to glue down my eyebrows, and I do this pretty much with most of my little looks for this week. And I'm going to layer the layer extra glue to really flatten it out since I'm actually creating his helmet. Now I'm going to powder that as it's a little bit dry to really flatten it out and make sure it doesn't stick to the makeup and just blend off the extra powder. Now I'm starting with this teal color and I'm sort of shaping the mask. I'm just going to start drawing and stenciling where I want things since I have to like sort of figure it out on my face. So I'm starting with the teal area just because it is the main part of the mask. Now I'm going with the red, and I'm just sort of shaping where the red zones are going to be. Now I'm using image as a reference since I am not good with these characters off the top of my head since they have so much detail. And I'm just going to be touching up the, the, the teal just to shape it a bit better. Now I'm going back into the red just to finish creating that. and just sort of drawing it out. Now I'm going to go with my black and just sort of trace out and clean up any line with the red just because I have a general idea now where the black is going to be and just sort of tracing that all out. And now I'm just going to clean up the red, make sure it's nice and straight. And then I'm going to clean up the teal using that against the red to really shape the red. And then I'm going to just fill it all in. As fast as possible because this is not something you need to know. <laughs> it's like, just fill it in. Take that bucket tool and just fill it in. Now I'm just going to sort of cut off at my jawline because I'm just doing the helmet. But now I'm going to go in my, Mar my Maron black and just sort of throw in that black. And I'm going to use a smaller brush to get underneath the eye just so that when my eyes are closed you can't really see the difference of where my eye is. Now I'm just going to go in with a bit more detail just trying to reshape some areas that just didn't look just right. Now I'm taking the black um, by Maron body paint, and I'm just sort of shaping my jawline to better for the for the, for the better appearance of a mask, if you helmet or whatever. <laughs> Not good with words. And I'm gonna blend uh, some uh, sugar pill black eyeshadow into the neck, and then blend it down with some more body paint because I just wanted to add some more depth. Now I'm taking some white body paint and I'm creating the indention on the forehead and just sort of taking this flat brush and just sort of creating this little like it's like a grayish white color and just sort of putting the indention all over the face now I'm going to go in with the black and create these little lines on the right side using the grayish white to highlight it and then I'm taking the black and sort of blending it into my circle to give it some depth going back and forth from color to color to layer it. Take a little bit of the black around the white markings around the forehead. Creating my, uh, using dual tone on these brush, the brush, actually using the black and gray together to create the indentions all over the face. In which it's like beat up. 
Now I'm going to start shading in my face using a light uh, mochi by Sugar Pill. And I'm going to use the black eyeshadow to sort of create the depth and the darkness. Now since the light source is at a different angle, I'm going to be doing these sides two different ways. just to give it to the appearance that the light is coming from my left side. I'm just going to start shadowing it in, really shape it out, and then I'm going to use the black body paint and just really harshen some of the areas. Pretty much where the shadow and the light like cut off, to give it also give that depth. I'm going to darken some of the shadow on my right cheek, as well as on my left. And I'm going to actually throw in a little bit of Taco by Sugar Pill to create a little bit higher points, little highlights in different areas. I'm going to put a little highlight on the top of my visor area, using white body paint and blending it in. And then cleaning up any excess lines that I see that are very not correct. And then putting Weirdo by Jeffree Star on the lip. Doing a little more detail, and with that, I'm done. And I am done now. I did throw a little black eyeshadow on my lid just to set it. I didn't put that in the film, I had forgotten to record that. But um, this is it. Take this out, because why not? But I hope you enjoyed my video. I will see you all next time. Tomorrow is another Star Wars day, so hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to like and comment and let me know what you think. But I will see you all next time. Have a good day. Bye.